Bird watchers, the paparazzi of the natural world, are subverting our democracy, according to the Canada Revenue Agency, the overbearing mother of the financial world. The Kitchener-Waterloo Field Naturalists, a registered charity, recently wrote a letter to federal cabinet members complaining about a pesticide linked to dying bees. Shortly after, they got a letter from CRA warning them to refrain from undertaking any partisan activities. Activities like their dogmatic anti-bee death manifesto. It's all part of a recent crackdown on charities for political activities. CRA rules state that in order to get tax-free status, a charity must be non-partisan. But what charity isn't partisan? They all support something. We don't say, okay, we've heard from the Ice Bucket Challenge guys, but let's give the pro-ALS folks a chance to weigh in on this. And they're buckets of lava. And if the CRA is so concerned with partisan charities, why aren't they auditing the Fraser Institute, a charitable right-wing think tank whose heroic mission is to protect private profits from the poor and protect climate change deniers from reality, whose donors include Exxon, the tobacco industry, and the Koch brothers. They try to get Hans Gruber to donate and someone had to be like, no, that's just, that's just a bad guy in Die Hard. That's not a real guy. That's just a movie. And if we're really serious about people avoiding taxes, what are we doing about the billions we lose each year to offshore tax havens? It turns out not much. Documents leaked earlier this year show that over 3,000 full-time positions will be cut from the CRA budget in the next four years, including auditors. So if the bird watchers really want to keep the CRA off their back, they don't need to stop partisan activities, they just need to stop being not rich.